Some courses offered at UC Santa Cruz have restrictions placed on them, meaning they are only available to some students. You can see if a class is restricted after you log into your My UCSC portal and click on Enrollment, then Class Search. Click on the intended course, and if there are any restrictions, it will say so under the Enrollment Requirements. The types of restrictions depend on the type of course. Some courses are for specific college affiliates. Others could be for specific majors, and there are also some courses reserved for juniors and seniors, or only seniors. There are also some courses that need the instructor's permission. If you are restricted from taking a class, there are options. If the class does not go towards your major, find another course to take. In many cases, restrictions are placed so that students in certain departments have the ability to take the class to fill a requirement. If a class does go towards your major and you are still restricted, your best option is to talk to your major advisor. They may find an issue you were not aware of. If the class is restricted to juniors and seniors, consider taking another class. Transfer students might be able to enroll depending on your academic standing. If you really want to take the course, email the instructor about options that you may have to take it. If the restriction is enrollment by instructor, read the class details. You may have to email the professor or wait until the first day of lecture. The best option is to keep communicating with the professor through emails. Permission numbers are given out by advisors or instructors in special cases. If you feel this might be an option for you, please contact your major advisor or the course instructor. Permission numbers will add you to the class without having to worry about it being closed or waitlisted. If you receive a permission code, you are now able to enroll in your desired course. After signing into your MyUCSE portal, add the course to your cart, then select a discussion section if required. Then, under Class Preferences, there's an option to type in a permission code. Enter the code and click Next. Then proceed with the next step of enrollment. Once you've finished enrolling, make sure that there's a green check mark next to the course number.